Okay, right. So let us come back and do this again again an NCRT question with the easiest question I should say uh, in the magnetic uh, moment. Uh, only thing is uh, you have to, the atomic numbers will be given for this question. You need to write the configuration using app work principle, write the configuration and your work is done. So what should I do in this question? They've asked me, write down the number of D electrons in each of the following ions. Okay. They've given us a list of ions. And I have to write after removing those electrons, how much, what is the leftover D electrons? And how would you expect the five 3D orbitals to be occupied for these hydrated ions octahedral? Okay, this is important. Now, uh, basically, when you study your coordination chemistry, you have octahedral complexes, tetrahedral complexes, right? In that, you're going to study a theory called crystal field splitting or CFT. In that crystal field splitting, you have two types of crystal field splittings. One is the d orbital being degenerate they're going to split or follow the octahedral splitting and tetrahedral splitting now they're asking us they're relating this concept to the octahedral splitting there what is that in octahedral if i have to say and in tetrahedral just observe if i have to take the octahedral splitting of d orbital how does it split d i very well know it has one two three four five here also first is first three are t2g set second two are eg set here also the same first three are t2g set the second two are eg set when octahedral has to split remember the splitting octahedral first the lower energy would be t2g set and the higher would be eg set so the triplet set would be lower energy that means in octahedral T2G would come first and then comes EG. In tetrahedral, EG would be of the lower energy and the T2G would be of the higher energy. The sequence is this. Remember the sequence. Now what should I apply? I have to apply T2G concept here. I have to apply octahedral splitting. So that's, that is what they said. Okay, let us start. So now I know octa means T2G comes first and then EG. Now this ion is given to me, I have written the electronic configuration to save time, it's easy for me to take out and do the numerical fast. I have to take out 2 plus 2, remove plus 2 from here, this becomes 3d2 4s0, number of unpaid electrons are how many? 2, correct because they have asked me to find the number of d electrons, so number of d electrons are 2. Now how does this go and fill, first it has to fill t2g, no, right, how will you write, you are going to write t g2 you have to write the two above let us start for this v plus 2 so this becomes 3d3 4 is 0 so 3 how should i write t2g3 because first t2g only 3 will fill and then you have to go to eg set now here chromium 3 so remove this becomes 4 is 0 this becomes <coughs> now 1 the 3 will be left Number of unpaid electrons 3. So T2G 3. Mn plus 3. 4S 0. 3D 4. Now it has become 4 electrons because 1 from here, 2 from here. 4. How will you write? T2G already 3 electrons are filled, isn't it? Half filled. Don't start filling it, please. So T2G is 3 electrons. One electron will go to the EG set now. EG 1. Let us do for this, iron, 4 is 2, so 4 is 0, this becomes 3d6, how many unpaid electrons you have, 6, fill in, t2g will always be 3, eg will always be 3, for fe plus 3, remove 2 electrons from here, this becomes 0 and 3d6 becomes 3d5, how will I write that uh, thing now? 5 unpaid electrons so start filling t2g will be 3 and your eg distribute those two here so let us uh, write for cobalt now cobalt <coughs> when i have to take cobalt how many um, 2 isn't it this becomes 4s0 3d7 now how many unpaid electrons do we have we have 7 unpaid electrons now careful here what happened now you have filled 3 here then you have filled 2 here done now it has now it started pairing up yes now how is this pairing up done yes still here okay this is 5 this is your 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव टिल हियर आई जस्ट टुक टी टू जी लाइक दिस एंड ई जी टू लाइक दिस नाउ वट आई हैव सेवन इज एट नाउ दस दैट इलेक्ट्रॉन विल कम एंड फिल द टी टू जी सेट द सेकेंड इलेक्ट्रॉन दैट सिक्स वन ना सेवेंथ वन like this the second electron now how many do we have we have t2g total of 5 so t2g will be 5 eg will be 2 let us come back and do for nickel nickel 2 this is 4s 0 3d 8 so 8 electrons so how will i fill again 8 electrons same thing again now let me write here Yes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, T two G. How many do we have? This is T two G. This is E G. T two G has six electrons, and E G has two electrons. Done. We're almost coming closer. Copper plus two. So you have to remove one electron from here. This becomes three D nine. Number of unpaid electrons is nine. So how will I fill this? Now eight are over, isn't it? The ninth one you're going to fill here. So what do I get? T two G has six and E G has how many? Three. So this is how you're going to write for all. Important thing is configuration, taking out and filling. 